Alright guys, this is a video where I'm going to unbox some of the new rifles that I got uh, before I review them just so we can get a sneak peek. But uh, this is also a lot of stuff that I got in the mail, which is uh, a lot of cool targets I wanted to show you. So anyway, this is your basic uh, auto resetting target right here. And uh, I'm going to do a big target video where I go into these, but these are about 24 bucks at uh, Pyramid Air. Uh, I got a funny one, and the cool thing about these is uh, they have different kill zones as well. So you can just, it's really sturdy and you can put different kill zones right there so now most of these targets right here you can only use with 177 and uh, 22 caliber and sometimes even with your more high powered PCP air guns you need to make sure that you're you know a good distance away anyway this one right here though this is made by champion and I think I got this for about 15 bucks at Walmart it's just a spring loaded target and you could actually probably hit this with a 25 caliber uh, or a 357 even and it wouldn't really hurt it I think that's a 25 cal hit right there this right here is a SIG P320 and uh, it's a good gun to use on it. most of these like the pellet traps and things like that uh, shoots about 400 feet per second pellets this is another good gun to use on uh, pellet traps like this and this shoots uh, about 500 600 feet per second but you can use guns air guns that shoot you know typically co2 air guns um, spring air rifles stuff that shoots uh, I'd say between six and eight hundred feet per second maximum um, and you know if you have a gun that shoots a little harder just put these things out a little farther this right here is just your basic uh, auto resetting target and uh, you know I believe this was about fifteen dollars at big five this right here you can see in action in my AP 16 video Adam and AP 16 video but uh, these were fourteen bucks at Walmart and they're auto reset like we just looked at now this right here is one of my coolest new targets uh, I do collect targets and I have a lot of these auto resets where they kind of flip up and then you flip them down but this one's called crazy eights and this was uh, I think twenty nine dollars at pyramid air like I say, every time I order a rifle, I try to look in their target section and grab a target or two, you know, a cheap one. So this is the ultimate. You got A right here, and you can have fun with your friends and all kinds of cool stuff with that. Okay, this right here was uh, about 20 bucks, and it was off of Walmart.com. This is basically, it's by Umarex, which is just coincidence, but uh, it's an ultimate, like, spinning tree. So you got all these spinners on there, and then you got a place to put your target at the top. It also comes with uh, some of these targets for free, too. This right here is a uh, super legit looking little pellet trap I got from Big Five, and that was, uh, I believe, fifteen dollars, maybe twenty dollars at the most. This is actually the favorite target that I've bought recently, and it was twenty nine dollars, I believe, and it's made by Umarex. So basically, you shoot these two, and I think they flip up, and then you shoot that one to reset it. So again, this would be a really good indoor CO two pistol target. And now these right here are really the whole reason that I busted out all these targets in the first place because. Uh, I hadn't really mentioned these very much, but I got them a little while ago. And these are your basically your silhouette competition official pieces right here. And uh, you shoot these at different distances. These are called shoot 'em down Air Venturi targets, and they're unbelievably uh, cheap. Basically, I paid thirty nine dollars for an eight pack, and so now I can set these up um, at. Let's see here. Okay, so it looks like uh, I put the chicken, which is. The smallest one, I'm going to put that at 20 yards for silhouette competition if I had an air rifle. And then the pig, which is the second one down, will do at 30 yards. The turkey uh, at 36 yards and the ram at 45 yards. So just to give you a look here, like this right here is probably 2 inches by a little more than an inch. This right here is pretty small. It's probably like an inch by inch and a half maybe. This right here is probably like a quarter, would be a teeny bit bigger than the circle right here. And this of course, you could uh, barely fit a dime in there. So that's how big those are. But yeah, so you can order one of these, or you can order an 8-pack, you can order a 2-pack, whatever you want. It works out to like 8 bucks for like a 4-pack. So anyway, they also have these uh, cool holes right here, so if you want to tether these with some sort of cord or something, so you don't lose them, you could do that. So basically, right here, 39 bucks. I got the makings of a really good shooting gallery, and uh, then you can do con something constructive with your air gun. You can practice for silhouette competition and uh, go out there and win some money, or just have a lot of fun. This right here is my Gamma Swarm, and I got this in 177 caliber from Walmart for about 200 bucks. It's a uh, multi-shot brake barrel, so uh, it's a brake barrel, but you don't have to load your pellets each time. It's got a 10-shot magazine that loads them automatically. So uh, my roommate's here, and she wanted to help out with the video today. She was actually kind of famous in the 80s, so some of you might recognize her. Hello, darling. Come in, come in. All right, guys, you can see I got some packages here. No, actually, uh, I, I bought some low-priced air guns, um, so these are actually some CO2-powered and uh, HPA-powered air guns, but uh, on the cheaper side, so I think I paid about 500 bucks for all these. I think I got three or four guns here, so let's see what I got. 
All right, I get this off the Airgun Classifieds uh, from Washington. What do you think it is, Elvira? It's a pizza pie. Mmm, how yummy. Uh, no, I don't think it's a pizza, um, but you might be close. I think it might be an Air Max. Let's check it out. Air Max Varmint. Let's see. So, uh, it looks like I was right. Uh, it looks like I got some magazines and some extra parts for the Air Max. Now, this guy gave me a super good deal. I think I got this for like $150 ship. So, you can't pass a deal like that up. Cool, it feels kind of like a cowboy kid's gun. Okay, uh, I can already see. It's got some nice stippling right there. It looks like a really nice stock. And once again, this is a uh, PCP. This is a low cost, probably the lowest cost PCP rifle that you can get. And uh, we'll have to find out how good the quality is here in a second. All right, there you have it. This is the uh, Air Max Varmint, I think they call it. And uh, this would be great for a kid, actually. Um, it's lightweight. Now, it says Made in China on there. There's the uh, stippling right there on the front. This is uh, a really cool, it seems like a well-made gun. Check this out. There's the uh, moderator on the front, so hopefully it's quiet. You got your PCP tank right here. So, I think you can get one of these for like 189 shipped or something crazy like that from M. Rod Air. Oh, check this out. This is a, a nice cheek piece on the other side. Right there, you can see the stippling on the stock right there. Air Max, this is called the Air Max Varmint from Amrod. This one's in at 177 caliber. So, we'll uh, check out the accuracy and all that when I do a, a proper review on this. But uh, I had to grab this off the Airgun Classifieds because, like I said, it was like 150 bucks shipped. Good deal. That's a pretty big package there. What do you think this one is? Pepperoni and mushroom, my babe. Uh, no, I don't think this one's a pizza either, <laughs> but uh, if you're hungry, we can definitely order a pizza for you. Okay, so this right here is the uh, Hammer Melly 850 Air Magnum, but uh, this is basically a CO2 power. It takes a big old CO2 cartridge right here, and uh, it's a CO2 powered. One of the most badass, pretty much, I think, probably the most badass CO2 powered gun that you can get. So, let's uh, open this up real fast. All right, guys, now check this out. Uh, this guy gave me a really nice kit. It looks like I got scope rings in there, premium pellets. This thing looks so awesome just like inside the package, but let me just get it out of there anyway. Okay, so this right here is my Hammer Millie Magnum 850. This is a high-powered CO2 air gun. Uh, like I said, about the best air gun you can get. I got a great deal on this. I think I got this uh, for like $300, and it came with this Bug Buster scope and free shipping so looks like this is a 22 and uh, the guy said it was brand new and uh, it actually was it looks like it's got some fiber optic sights on here got a nice big magazine right there comes with two magazines uh, the guy gave me some of his uh, pellets let's see we got some Ruger super point pointed guys looks like it got some uh, RWS hobby pellets in my collection now as well wad cutters yeah let me just show you a close-up of this gun real fast the other thing I got with it uh, is this giant pack of uh, silica or whatever that stuff is that keeps the moisture out of your uh, guns. And so, you know, I could throw this in a gun case that I really care about or, or maybe even my gun cabinet and uh, it'll keep it from rusting. So that right there is the Air Magnum 850. And, uh, yeah, you can see this is a polymer stock and uh, it's really nice. Got a cool safety on there. Uh, this looks like a really good grip. So I think this takes 88 gram CO2 cartridges and it can be upgraded to high pressure air. I know that. Now look at that fiber optic side right there. And it's uh, got one to match it in the front right there. So that's awesome. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but let's just say Hammer, Hammer Mel. Anyway, that's the Magnum 850. And uh, it's about 300 bucks if you buy it brand new. Now I know one of these packages was from Pyramid Air. So I don't remember exactly which one, but it's probably this one. I kind of went on a CO2 kick because, oh uh, yeah, there's two guns in here. So the day this package got delivered, Elvira thought she saw someone snooping around my porch. Who do those girls think they are anyway, snooping around like that? Charlie's Angels or something? But fortunately, it uh, wasn't a porch pirate, but uh, my stuff was insured by PayPal anyway. 
So uh, if the head got stolen off my porch, uh, PayPal would have reimbursed me. What right do they have poking their little noses? Their cute little turned up noses. Well, you know, I think it's all right. They must have been here for something else because uh, obviously they didn't steal my package. Sure, the doctor said make yourselves at home, kids. But that didn't mean snow. Oh, yeah. Okay, first off, this is my Diana bullseye mount, and it actually has a spring in here, so I can put this on any spring gun, and it won't damage my scope from the negative recoil, whatever they call all that. $59 at Pyramid Air. Okay, this right here is a Crossman Model 1077, and uh, it's a 177 caliber CO2 rifle. It looks like it probably has like a detachable magazine there, probably semi-auto. Um, some nice open sights on there, and it's a nice wood stock as well. So um, this is plastic right here, but uh, anyway, I can't remember what I paid for this, but I know it was under 100 bucks, and this is a great little plinker to have around. So I'm going to scope this up and see what we can do with that as well. Speaking of CO2 guns, this is a, a gun that I've been wanting to order for um, probably a couple years, and it's CO2 powered. I believe it's semi-auto, but this is called the uh, ASG TAC 45. It stands for 4.5 millimeter, and uh, obviously it's a real tactical little guy there. It's got a fold-up bipod, looks like, so that's super cool. Let's get this out of the package. Look at that. That's some nice packaging right there. So I got some instructions. I got what appears to be a super nice gun. Well, obviously it is. Uh, I can already tell I'm going to be keeping this one in my collection. Uh, we got a bipod right there. And so this is a good plinker. You want to take some target practice at about, you know, 20 yards or something. These guys also make a TAC-6, which I believe is this gun that shoots 6mm airsoft pellets with a CO2. Alright guys, so this right here is the uh, TAC-45. So this actually almost looks like metal because it had I don't know a little couple marks on it but uh this is actually all polymer and uh looks really good really good for practicing your tactical rifle shooting looks like it has a aperture sight in the back that's adjustable and a super awesome fiber optic red dot sight in the front we got a flash hider going on here military style this bipod right here pretty cool and you can put this on any weaver style gun right there. It does say on the box that this is a full metal top rail, so that's cool. Put your scopes and all your accessories on there. So I'm not really sure how you feed the magazine in here or what. Oh, there it is. Ooh, that's cool. So yeah, we got a cool magazine that comes in there. So uh, we'll get more into that later. Looks like the CO2 goes in there too. So yeah, that's it for today. These are some cool guns that we're going to be reviewing on the Air Gun channel. I appreciate you watching and uh, definitely tune in and stop by anytime. And you're bound have a good time. Yeah, and thanks to Elvira for helping us out, and uh, we'll see you next time.